So you guys probably think that I'm gonna eat some random food for no reason. But no. This is just going to be a normal video. So yeah. Psych! Oh no, thing. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Dan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys another tutorial for your Unify TV. Yes, I know. I've been uploading a lot of Unify TV tutorials lately. You want to know why? Because I don't have a life. So, leave me alone. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how to connect your Android devices into your remote control. I know it's pretty cool you know and I think a lot of you guys already know that there is an app for you to make your Android devices become a remote control for all TV but you know Unified TV remote control is kind of hard to find an app for it that's suitable for Unified TV box so yeah but I, I actually found it a very good app for it and it's not actually using true Bluetooth or any other stuff it's actually you need to use your Wi-Fi network to do this so make sure you have a Wi-Fi well, of course you have a Wi-Fi, and this app is called Status Play App. I I hope I pronounced that name right. I think it is Status Play App. But yeah, Status Play App, a very good app. I think a lot of you guys already know about this. And also, first of all, warning: this video is only suitable for the people that have my application placed. My Unified TV version is like the latest one. The interface looks like this. And make sure you guys have TV launcher for it. If you guys don't have TV launcher, then this video is just gonna waste your time. But if you guys don't know how to get TV launcher, then I do have a video on that. And also make sure you have enable unknown source before this latest version. If you don't, then still this video is just gonna waste your time. So yeah. So anyway, first I'm gonna show you guys how the app looks like in the inside. Um, and <laughs> also I'm using a tablet because um, I only have my phone like right now is recording my face so and I don't really have any other Android devices except my tablet so but yeah, of course any any Android devices will works just fine I think the app also support iOS so like, if you use iPhone then yeah you can also download the app in your iOS devices but yeah first I will show you the loading screen right here I don't really know what's that is that like a fish or something I don't know I don't really care <laughs> but first it will show you like you need to connect it but you can actually click back first I'm gonna go back first so if you swipe left there's a menu place and you can see <laughs> it will say that no device found because I'm not at my TV right now so right here you will say play on TV so play on TV is that you can actually play show your picture or play a video or open up a file inside your TV just with this app so that's pretty cool so app center is where you can actually download apps for the you can actually download the apps for the for your TV so when you try to click when, when you try to tap the install button it will install inside your TV so not in in your Android device so that's that's pretty cool not gonna lie um, so my apps again I didn't connect I, I haven't connected with my TV yet but if you click if you tap on my apps it will show the apps inside your unified TV box so yeah that's also pretty cool and you can actually tap on the apps and it will open it in the box and link transfer is that you can actually like put like type in a link and it will transfer it to the unified tv box and maybe it will open it in your browser i don't i haven't actually tried this out yet but i think that's how it works um clean master um so clean master is is again it will is actually like a cleaner for your unified tv box so you can clean it using your android devices through your unified tv box so yeah that's that's also pretty cool So screen capture again it will actually it's not a video recorder but it's actually a screenshot so you can actually screenshot your TV screen so yeah that's that's pretty awesome I don't lie and search to cast uh, I think there is like you can search something in here but it will show up 
in your TV and YouTube is that uh, it's just a YouTube so <laughs> live channel is and tutorials um, settings you can change some stuff in here if you want to but you know I recommend you to just leave it because it doesn't really have any problem with it um, and you can also give feedback to the developer and this is the about so yeah pretty cool so now I'm going to show you guys how to download this status play app inside your unified TV box because if you want because this because if you want to connect your status play app into your TV is actually you need to download the status play TV version inside your TV box okay so it's not the same app you need to download like status play TV version in the unified TV box and then you can connect it so yeah I guess um, we're gonna go to my living room downstairs let's go shall we Oh, almost forgot my bread. <laughs> uh, what is my life? <laughs> so anyway, right now I'm at my living room. Yes, here, here I am. Hello. <laughs> so anyway, um, yes. So anyway, yes. Um, so what we're going to do is to make sure. You turn on the Wi-Fi network first. You can see right now. I already turned on my Wi-Fi network. So now what are we going to do is just press the home button right there. And again, if you guys don't know how to get this TV launcher, I do have a video a video on how to do that. So make sure you guys check out the link on the description below. So now let's open a TV launcher. And first I'm gonna show you guys how to download the status play for TV okay so first of all we're gonna open up our browser we're not gonna use the default browser because it sucks okay so I recommend you guys to download UC browser first so let's open up UC browser and we're gonna plug in our mouse first um, so we're gonna use our mouse for this because UC browser you can't use remote control for it so yeah that kind of sucks but anyway after you plug in your mouse Right now we're just gonna search for the status play app. So make sure you search that. And then we're just gonna go open up their website www.statusplay.com. So after you open up the website, now you're just gonna click on the middle one, the down APK button at the middle. So after you've done, now you're just going to click it and just install it. I already installed it so I don't really need to install it again. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your status play app in your android device to your tv so i'm actually using my tablet because my phone is recording right my tv right now so i don't have any other android devices so i need i just have a tablet so yeah anyway right now we actually going to open up the status play app in your tv and i also uh unplug my mouse just to show you guys that i'm not I'm not lying to you guys or cheating or anything. But anyway, yeah, let's open up the self self play app in our TV. And as you can see it will show you the IP address and your Wi-Fi network name and your Android version. So yeah, I'm actually gonna blur that because I don't know. I don't know why, but I just wanna blur it. <laughs> so now let's just go to your phone and open up the self play app in your phone. And again, I'm using my tablet, but any Android devices will work for this. So yeah. So after you open up the app, now you, first you need to connect it to your TV. So if you guys don't know the name of the Unify TV box, it's actually called Huawei Box right here, as you can see. So now you're just going to tap on it and wait for it to connect. And after you connect it, it will say connected like this. So now let's actually test out at the mouse first. Just tap on the mouse like that. Now as you can see, when I move, it will say status play has connected to your TV. And let's use the mouse. And as you can see, at, on TV, it will show a mouse. And yeah, it, as you can see, it's so cool. Okay, I'm not actually using my mouse right now. I'm just controlling it with my tablet. 
and you can see it works just fine you can actually use other, other control like d-pad I just tap on back and as you can see it works just fine let's actually open up normal TV I guess also again make sure you turn on your Wi-Fi network if your Wi-Fi network is turned off then it won't work because this app is actually using your Wi-Fi network to control it it's not using Bluetooth or anything so yeah make sure you turn on your Wi-Fi network first so right now as you can see I'm using the D-pad and it works just fine and you can also use other stuff like touchpad mode touchpad mode is like you need to swipe it pretty cool as well and right here there's mouse mode so mouse mode is like my favorite right now because it's just so cool like I didn't even plug in any mouse to the I didn't even plug in my mouse but yeah like as you can see it's just so cool I love it and right now you can also use numeric keyboard pretty cool because like if you want to watch like the Unified TV media box like it works perfect for the media box because you guys want to change channel you guys can just press the button at here like 103 102 like that so yeah pretty cool and gamepad mode is it's still on beta like it's still in beta so it's a little laggy for me sometimes but it works but it is also pretty cool so yeah you guys also should check it out so right here if you see at the middle bottom right there like there's like this circle thing if you tap on it it will actually clean it for you that's actually pretty cool okay like you automatically help you clean and like right here if you swipe left and if you click on my apps right here it will show you the apps inside your unified tv box and like this um you, i can instantly just press like if it's, if i want to to go to youtube i guess i just can click it i just can open it in my tablet like that opening smart youtube tv and i can also uninstall it just with my tablet through my tablet so yeah that's pretty cool though and screen capture is actually not a video recorder but it's actually just if you want a screenshot you can use the screen capture to screenshot your tv right there and yeah as you can see it works just fine so yeah anyway pretty cool huh so yeah as you can see um, it is very easy and simple and pretty quick to actually connect your android devices into your tv and make it become a remote control and again my favorite one is actually the mouse because like it's just so cool and it's actually very good for people that don't really have a bluetooth mouse like if you're using a wired mouse not the wireless one it's pretty annoying you know because when you wanted to change it or maybe you wanted to use it or maybe when you want to use your mouse you need to go in front of tv and then maybe go change the movies and then go back to your sofa and then when you wanted to change another movie you need to go in front of tv so yeah so you don't need to do that if you have this app because you, can, you just can control it from far away without even taking your remote control or using your mouse so you can just do it from far away if your sofa is far away from your TV you know like mine so yeah anyway I think I'm gonna leave this video right here and again make sure you have enable unknown source before the latest version if you didn't then it won't really work for you and make sure you have TV launcher again if you guys don't know how to download the TV launcher the video link going to be on the description below so make sure you just check that out first before watching this video so yeah and I'm sorry if like like I keep uploading um, Unified TV tutorials because I haven't still got monetized my videos still didn't get monetized so that's why I trying to um, upload t more tutorials until I will get monetized and then I, I if I got some more money and then after I got some money I will buy a new PC and then and then I'm gonna make more gameplay videos or maybe make some live stream. I don't know, but we'll play some games, you know, and not 
keep uploading <laughs> Unify TV series, but also I'm actually kind of excited for Unify because I don't know. There's a lot of news saying that they are doing a new, like they are making a new set top box. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it's true, then I will tell you guys and make sure to quickly make a video about it because I'm pretty excited for that. But anyway, um, I'm also sorry that uh, if this video is not entertaining or something because I'm not a very funny guy but I will try my best to make my videos all fun and funny and make you guys laugh but if I didn't make you guys laugh then it's fine, you know, I, I, I get it. But anyway, I think I'm gonna leave this video right here. Um, I hope this video helped you guys. If it helped you, then please click the like button. And if you guys want more videos by my channel, then please click the subscribe button. And make sure you guys hit the notification uh, And make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys will know when I'm gonna upload new videos. And make sure you guys share this video to all of your friends that also use Unify TV. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>